Hello folks, we got strawberry season back amongst us and I got a couple ideas today. It's something a little different than a strawberry biscuit, but great ideas for dessert I think you're really going to enjoy. I've gone ahead and got a couple of different kinds of doughs that you, you see at your grocery store. You can find them there that I work with from time to time. Of course, the phyllo dough, which is going to be a, a more of a Mediterranean Greek style, very, very thin, very light style of dough that you're going to have to layer, you're going to have to make layers with. And then also pastry dough, uh, puff pastry dough. I've just got a small piece here. You can find this in your frozen food section. I think Pepperidge Farms makes it, and uh, there's probably a few others that make it as well. And uh, all you want to do is take your dough out, and as you can see, I've popped it into a muffin tin. I went ahead and just put it into a muffin pan. I pricked it with a fork. This is the puff pastry, and I put a little weight on it. And then what I did with the phyllos was I did the exact same thing. I followed their directions, painted it with butter, sprinkled it with just a little bit of sugar, and cut it into squares. And then I lapped the squares over and put it once again into a regular muffin pan and went ahead and fired it into the oven. 350 degrees, about 15 minutes on both of them, 15 to 18 minutes till they brown up real pretty. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take a little bit of a strawberry puree that I pureed up a little bit earlier, just like that. We'll go ahead and use a puff pastry on this time. These are wonderful. They're real, real tasty. As you can see, we've just put a little bit of sugar on some strawberries. We'll go ahead and spoon those right in like that. Mm, oh, man, that looks good. Just a little bit of whipped cream over the top. Oh, buddy. And I'm going to put just a sprig of mint in here. What a wonderful dessert. I know a lot of you like to do biscuits. I do too. But this is a nice, real simple, real fast thing that you can do that you can find at your grocery store and get all the ingredients on one trip. I'm Todd Brenner. This is Culinarily Yours. And until I see you again next week, you do three things for me, okay? Keep it simple, keep it fresh, and most importantly, you keep it cooking. I'll see you in a week.